you know, for me, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about my prop until I run into a rock or nick it up, which is, you know, happens when I'm out on the water. And for a lot of people, it's almost an afterthought. They just put their boat in the water and run the prop that's on there. However, the folks at Yamaha understand that it's very important to have the right prop for the job when you're getting ready to get out on the water. So let's hear from them now and learn a little bit more about choosing the right prop. At Yamaha, what we do is we have what we call endless propeller solutions. And what we do is we break out propeller selection into boat categories. So we look at the type of boat you have and identify propellers that work well in those applications. As you can see, our display here is broken out into various boat types and, and propellers within those boat categories. Stainless versus aluminum is a question that we get all the time, and it really comes down to your boating area. If you're boating in shallow, uh, debris-infested waters, it's always better to go with an aluminum propeller. If you hit something and you chew up a $100 aluminum propeller, it's much easier to swallow than hitting something with a stainless steel propeller and damaging gear case or more. Uh, most people just assume that a propeller is uh, essentially just a big fan blade. You throw it on there and it pushes you forward, but there's so many little aspects of a propeller that you can change to make different characteristics and different performance factors, gains, losses, what have you. Um, so a good propeller guy is crucial. If you want to find our Endless Propeller Solutions application guide, can be found at yamahaoutboards.com and uh, all the other various propeller references are there as well. For bass boat guys, uh, our most popular propellers are VMAX SHO series propellers. Uh, it's been around for a long time. Most folks refer to that as a T1 prop, um, 25 pitch, probably the most common. Um, excellent propeller, works very well on a lot of different applications. So our new engines with 25 inch shafts, uh, SHOs, uh, those are gonna run different propellers. VMAX SHO series propellers like to be run very high. They're what we call surface piercing application. They like to run basically half in the water, half out. With a 25 inch shaft, the motor runs a lot deeper in the water. So you're gonna need a different type of propeller. Uh, from our lineup, that's probably gonna be a saltwater series too. A lot of people look at that and they say, well, saltwater series, this is, this is freshwater. That's okay, don't, don't read too much into the name. Uh, saltwater series two propellers have a large diameter and range in pitch from 13 all the way up to 23 and will be more than enough for many of the multi-species and walleye boats that are in the market today. We, we have another very good resource for propeller information on our website. Uh, it's called the Prop Shop. And basically Prop Shop is a publication that we put out uh, on a bi-monthly basis, which is full of tips and tricks and different application scenarios for Yamaha propellers.